Hello, my friend. Welcome back to the Drunken Druid Tavern. Pull up a chair, pour yourself a nice drink, and let's get back into Dragon Age Origins together. So tonight I'm drinking a Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA. I've actually never had this IPA before. I'm starting to get back into them. Um, I used to be really into them back in college, and then I got less into them because they were too strong for me. <laughs> I was like, I'm too old for IPAs. Uh, but here we are. I'm trying to get back into them and really liking them, actually. I'm trying to just, you know, widen my horizons here. So cheers to you. Clink. <laughs> and yeah, let's kind of get going. If you aren't familiar with Dragon Age and you want to catch up on the story so far, I linked the uh, playlist down in the description box below so you can catch up on the story up to here. So at the moment we are we're not playing as the main character we're playing as win our healer and we're in the fade trying to rescue a child from a demon so that's about all you need to know so let's let's get back into it <laughs> is anyone out there hello is there anyone out there because it's good and hard i don't understand to breathe it's so cold <laughs> anyone I want to go home please father i only want to help you Marley Eamon? Who exists in the sight of the man. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Mm. Side note, this IPA is really nice. If you're not like huge on like the very strong like double IPAs or even just IPAs that are really hoppy, the Sierra Nevada IPA. It's pretty smooth. So I'd say it's a, this is a good intro beer to IPAs. So if you're looking to get into it. Try it out. <laughs> Let me know what you think. You are in the Fade, my lord. A demon has you trapped. Demon? Fade? Is, is my son in danger? He is. But I will do my best to see that all of us emerge from this unscathed. Trust me, my Earl. Yes, I, I, I trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Aw, good job, Wynn. Wynn is definitely uh, the right call. We were between Wynn and Morrigan, and maybe Jawin, but I don't Curse trust that guy for a second. Darkness. Why can I see nothing? But yeah, Wynn is just like I so much more so. calming than Morrigan. I feel like Morrigan would just be like, Oh, you old fool of a man. Can't you see that this is a dream? Be gone, demon. <laughs> and like, that would be it. <laughs> and then he'd be like, I don't trust you. You witchy witch. Connor. Hello. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Child, calm down. It's all right. I won't hurt you. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. Oh, no. I won't let you. <gasps> oh my gosh. Nudity warning. I'll put it down below too. Oh no. <gasps> That was terrifying. What? I shall do so. Hmm. You pay for that. I shall do so. Go win. Oh my gosh, mages are so badass in this game. Okay. Now where do we go? Back here? I feel like this is where we came from. Say. It's so fun to be playing as wind. You! You're the one making father sick! No, I swear we didn't do it. It was Jowen. Connor? Is that you? Hey Connor. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Listen to me. I am just trying to help. I will not speak with you! Trespasser! I will drive you out! Ooh, two. Uh-oh. Okay. Maybe I'll try this. I don't know if it'll work on demons, but... Uh-oh. Oops. Help him! You can't stop me! 
Get out of here! You have to get- Okay, that didn't really do very much. <laughs> Ow! Image is like so upset. I shall do so. Yes. Wait, did we do it? I'm gonna quick save. You know me. Okay. Oh, there he is. The fate is so funny. Like they're just these bird cages floating up there. Is it a metaphor? I don't know. <laughs> Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Okay. I shall do so. Ow. As you say. Ah, your fear, mortal. Oh my gosh. Oops. It's gonna hurt. Job win. Okay. Uh oh. Hello. Very well. <laughs> I guess she was in the floor no there. More illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? There will be no, no way. discourse between us, demon. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Uh-oh. Ah! Ouch. As you say. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh. I can't move. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Come on. We got As this. you say. Resisted. Immediately. Oh no. She's like resisting everything. I shall do so. Okay, that's good. My magic will regeneration. I shall do so. Nothing okay. Arcane bolt is not working. That's okay. Oh, it must be her spell shield. She's got good magic resistance. <gasps> I think it's that one. Because that's like where the fire is. Ha! Gotcha. Oh, far too old for this. 
<laughs> I love that she says I'm far too old for this. <laughs> oh, when you're not that old. Like, how old is she supposed to be, do you think? Oh, shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Is it that one? Ah, yes. Nice. As you say. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Immediately. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Come on, Win. Hang in there. I shall do so. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Oh, I guess we could have used the lyrium vein. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Oh, we did it. That was so abrupt. There's Xander, this cute little helmet. <laughs> Hopefully it worked. We have good aim, wow. Nice. What now? So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for... training, once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild, should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? It looks like Xander's back would be on fire right now, because his sword is on fire. Be a little toasty. Okay, what should we do with Jowan? He seemed legitimately like he wanted to amend and, like, or make amends and, you know, have a second chance. And I think that Xander sees that he could do some good for the world, so... Hmm. But, yeah, I think he'll just let him do whatever he wants with him. Do whatever you want with him. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. I will seek out this urn. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, yeah, the scholar, him. in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Ooh, is that a glitch? Oh. We did it! Quest updated. Find the urn of sacred ashes. Medicines and magic have failed to cure Arl Eamon, who sleeps closer to death each day. You have been told that the urn of sacred ashes, containing the ashes of the Maker's prophet Andraste, has legendary healing powers. Lady Isolde sent her knights out in search of the urn, but so far they have returned empty-handed. If Arl Eamon is to have any hope of recovering, Andraste's ashes must be found. Locate the Chantry scholar, Brother Genitivi, in Denerim. He's the only man in Ferelden who is actively researching the urn, and will have important knowledge to share with you. Okay, so I guess our quest is not over with Arl Eamon. <laughs> oh no, we forgot to find Valena! Oh, shit. Oops. 
I feel so bad. We forgot to like explore the rest of Redcliffe Castle. Well, it's not the end of the world. Every game is different. That's that's the beautiful thing. <laughs> Fail. Okay, cool. Redcliffe. Blight. Okay, so in order to get Arl Eamon's help, we have to revive him. But first, let's do some premium content. Let's go back to camp. And then... There's Connor. Oh, you know, first we should go get, um, the vault. Oh. Delighted. Oh, heck yeah. Loot. Um, let's go get some more potion ingredients first. And so I shall. So let's go to the Brazilian forest. We're just, like, taking all of their shit. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Stan. I always click on you wish. by accident. Um... Yeah, let's go back to camp and then we'll head to the elves in the Brazilian forest oh. uh, in order to get elf fruit because I think they have an unlimited supply of elf fruit <laughs> so we can make more potions. That is definitely necessary. So let's do that first and then we'll head off to do some DLC quests. Yes. Oh my gosh, Stan. How many times? wish. We should add that to the drinking game. I've been trying to come up with... Um... Ooh, Alistair's mother's amulet. I've been trying to come up with some rules rules for like a Dragon Age drinking game. And let's see, someone posted um, or added to it and said that uh, every time that Morrigan says twas or twid. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, is that the... Where's the front door? <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, it's over here. Um, we should also add, like, anytime you accidentally click on a companion to talk to them. <laughs> I feel like that happens to me quite a lot. I guess that's something that they removed from... This isn't really a spoiler, but in Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition, they you don't have the ability to just click on your companions and talk to them when you're on the road. You can only talk to them back at your base. Um, so... Yeah, I kind of I kind of like being able to talk to them on the road. I heard about what happened at Redcliffe. I want to talk to you about it. What's on your mind? I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something, no matter how small. I owed the Arl that much. If we can stop the Blight, we'll save much more. You're right. Hopefully, by that time, there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? <laughs> He's so funny. Ooh, we got minor constitution. We should give him the amulet that we found. Let's do that. You know, maybe Oops. this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Hmm. Logan will get what's coming to him, I promise you. No, I, I know that. That's not what I'm talking about. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. Mm. That's wonderful news. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. 
with the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Hmm. He's so cute, isn't he? If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana. And I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Okay, Allie. Let's give you your mother's locket. Or amulet. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I found it in Redcliffe Castle in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. I was just looting, you know. it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he meant to give it back to you. Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. You're a friend. Of course I remembered. I don't know what to say. I'm honored. Thanks again. Aw, we're friends. Yay. Speaking of friends, let's go talk to Morgan. <laughs> well, we want her to be more than a friend. We're working on it. Hi, Morgan. Yes? Oh, hello. I want to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of uh, Flemish, drink. taught Tis. over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> legend? <laughs> But it's just a legend, right? So I assume. My mother has walked the wilds far longer than I. Who am I to suggest what things she has done and not done in her past? Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Oh, man. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look Drink. upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. That sounds so cool. And what do other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. 
There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Hmm. By practitioners, you mean apostates, don't you? Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Maybe tied to a flagpole and flagpole and tickled. What is that like a flirty answer? Uh. I'll just go for the first one. Well, I kind of want to do the third one. We can always reload if it's bad. Maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to say. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed. <laughs> Let the dust gather on us. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we could have said the other one. <laughs> okay, Xander, you're bad at flirting. <laughs> Go home. Which tent is ours, anyways? All right. Oh, hey, we have an ally. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Okay. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Okay, we'll give you our runes. If we have any. Okay. We'll give away our novice runes. Such a force has not been seen since the collapse of the tomb. Let's say hello, Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy. Uh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We can say the worst things to her. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. We have to say the first one. I feel so bad saying that though. It's so inappropriate. He ruined them. Does this mean you'll have to go without? Maybe. But that is not the point. The dirty mongrel can have this back. <laughs> Oh there. my god. And tell him not to do it again. You heard the lady. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Aww. I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> That was funny. Okay, let's head off to the elves. And see if they have some elf fruit for us. Oh, actually... Yeah, okay, let's go. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Well, let's try Alistair this Fashion. time. See yes. how he does. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ooh. Denerim. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. 
Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! We'll not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Ooh, I do love the political intrigue of this game. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. And next time we'll continue on to the elves and hopefully replenish our potion stores before doing some DLC quests. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Drunken Druid. Cheers to you, my friend. And I hope you're doing well during these weird times. If you're listening in 2020, maybe you're listening years from now. <laughs> but... Right now it's 2020 and it's it's a weird year. So I hope that you're finding joy in the little things and the simple things like Dragon Age and fresh air and spending time with friends and family. And yeah, so take some time for yourself and do something that you enjoy today. And I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>